Hey everyone, out DeMarco here, and this is going to be your Wednesday video report. Uh, a couple of free picks coming your way in just a moment, plus a money-saving discount coupon code that'll save you $25. Yes, $25 off of any purchase you make today. Um, you know, a lot of guys in this business will rationalize losers, like, I had the right side, but it was just a twist of fate. You know, I handicapped the game correctly, but just something happened and my side didn't come in. I got news for you. There is no such thing as a good loser. You win, you lose. And I've lost. And the last two days, I am 0-4, guys. And, you know, total transparency. What, am I going to hide the fact that I've sucked the last two days? Monday, you know, coming into Monday, I had won two out of three. 15 time best bets in baseball. Been in quite a basketball role as well. What happened? Monday, of course, lost a 15 dime play with St. Louis against San Francisco. But yesterday was just a horror show, and I had an inkling something bad was going to happen because I gave you a free pick on the Chicago Cubs. They're cruising along. Zambrano is pitching great. Marmol comes in to close it out, gives up six runs in the ninth inning, lose the free pick, and I thought, this is not good because you Cleveland Indians fans out there, I am personally responsible for snapping the tribe's latest losing streak. Yes, they had lost five out of six games, but because I backed Toronto, a team that had won four straight, scoring 100 runs in those four games, and 13 out of 19, because I took Toronto on the run line last night, naturally, Cleveland jumps out to the early lead. Naturally, Grady Sizemore finally gets a hit after coming off the disabled list on Friday, smashing a homer, and naturally, the Cleveland Indians win. But it gets better, because that was a 15 dime play. Uh, had a five-dime play on Arizona. Hey, what the hell? The Diamondbacks had won seven straight in 15 out of 17 games, scored 15 runs, and had 19 hits in Monday's uh, series opening win against Florida. Last night, they, of course, lose. I personally ended the Arizona Diamondbacks winning streak. Kirk Gibson, I am very sorry. I didn't mean to do that to your team. Well, at that point, listen, the Dallas Mavericks were up by eight points against Miami. Did I really think Dallas was going to hold on and win that game? Of course the Miami Heat came back and win that game and cover, and it was a devastating loss because I'll be honest with you guys, just about everybody out there at these websites had Dallas, and a lot of them had the over in that one as well. Didn't quite understand the over call, but I can certainly see the Dallas call. And, you know, in reflecting upon that game, Dallas got hammered on the boards, especially in the offensive class. Tyson Chandler was missing in action. Jason Terry's jump shot was missing in action the entire second half. Dirk Nowitzki struggled to find open space and struggled with his shot until late in the game. Uh, Rick Carlisle's substitution uh, pattern. I don't understand. What, are you in love with J.J. Barrera? I mean, the guy's a smurf out there against the tall trees, right? He was one for eight at one point, shooting, couldn't get anything going with those scoop shots, constantly driving the lane and coming up short. And then the late in the third quarter, I'm sitting there going, please, Rick, will you please put Jason Kidd back in the damn game? I don't understand. And with all that being said, Miami played equally as bad, especially in the fourth quarter when both teams at one point went three and four minutes respectively without scoring a bucket, right? And it was still a close game right on the verge of Dallas covering or perhaps even pulling off the straight-up win. As I said in the Miami-Chicago series, did Miami win games 2, 3, 4, and 5, or did Chicago lose those games? I know that sounds funny, but think about what I'm saying. Last night, Dallas lost that game. That was the game I was counting, you know, obviously in the 2-3-2 two, two format. I was thinking that they would be able to steal one game in the series, and they certainly most uh, certainly can at this point. But last night was a golden opportunity, and they blew it. That's the bottom line. Now, before we go any further, let me tell you your money-saving discount coupon code is going to be 25 June. 25 June. Enter that one prompted in your shopping cart, and you will save $25 off of any purchase you happen to make today. 25 June. 25 and the word June, J-U-N-E. 25 June, and that'll save you $25 off of any uh, single purchase price. By the way, that OM4 performance last night, you can see I'm recording this down in, uh, in my family rooms behind me. See that? See that? It's beautiful. Custom-made fireplace, mantle, the whole thing, marble, the whole thing. I lost more yesterday than that damn thing cost. So, you know, 0 and 4, actually the two days combined, 0 and 4 is 0 and 4. Just miserable, miserable. By the way, the other thing I can always warn you, never put the computer on top of something because it rocks back and forth. So it makes you feel like you're on a 737 in turbulence, doesn't it? 30,000 sweet feet. Uh, let's get to your free picks. Uh, first one's going to be on the nighttime card. Um... As an apology to Kirk Gibson, I'm going to back 
the Arizona Diamondbacks tonight because I figured I ended their streak last night. I'm going to ride them here tonight. Listen, this one opened up about 150, some 155s. It's up to 160, 165. That's why I'm not personally betting on it, and I don't feel that comfortable taking Arizona on the run line tonight. However, I do like the Diamondbacks in this game because the bottom line is they had won seven straight and 15 out of 17 before losing last night, 5-2. to two. Uh, I only had six hits last night after banging out those 19 hits in the 15-4 triumph on Monday. Uh, Daniel Hudson has... Uh, uh, pitched very well here of late. Six wins in his last seven starts, including three straight winning decisions. Uh, 2.89 ERA in his last four starts at Chase Field. Javier Vasquez, um, a 6.02 earned run average on the season. And that number really doesn't speak to how poorly he has pitched this year because he's lost his fastball. You know, this guy was a pretty successful pitcher up to even two years ago when he was uh, he was able to hum it in there at 93-94. You know, at 89-90, maybe 91 topping out with the fastball, he just doesn't get the job done. And I'm looking for Arizona to tee off on him tonight. Uh, also, a mid-afternoon play. I know the game goes shortly, but I would be willing to take the Yankees against Oakland since the Yankees have won nine straight in the series after last night's 10-3 victory. They've won uh, three straight overall and 10 of their last 14 games, but in the three straight wins, they have banged out and scored uh, 22 runs. They're on a 23-4 and run against the Oakland A's, including five straight and nine of 10 in Oakland. Uh, Gio Gonzalez, one of the worst starts of his career, 10 uh, walks and 10 runs allowed in eight innings and a 10-2 home loss against the Yankees last year. Uh, no decision against Baltimore last Friday in his last outing where he struggled with his control there, ironically. Five walks and five innings. Only gave up the one run, earned run, but still struggled with the control. A.J. Burnett, 2-0 uh, and last year against Oakland. 2.60 earned run average and four career starts against the A's. So again, I'm going to go with the Yankees as your afternoon pick. I'm going to lay the big wood with Arizona as your nighttime selection. Uh, and again, your money-saving discount coupon code is going to be 25 June, 25 June. Good luck, everybody, and I'll catch you again on Thursday.